So if you're dealing with a wiring fault on your trailer, stick around because we're going to track down what the problem was with our rig. So whether you're a weekend RVer, full-timer, or just dreaming about RVing, the one thing that is always true is there is going to be problems along the way of your journey. And today we have a new problem to take care of. So to give you a little backstory, for the last year or so, every once in a while I would get a trailer disconnect on the truck while towing the RV. We'd go through, we'd you know unplug the RV, plug it back in, clean the connection, blow it out, whatever, and we'd be good to go, but uh, not this time. So on this last trip, uh, every time I would hook up the trailer, I was getting trailer disconnect pretty much right away. I was getting wiring faults whenever I was uh, tapping the brakes uh, for the trailer. It would get a wiring fault on trailer. And doing a little bit of research online, it sounds like the wiring fault issue is the electric brakes uh, not working properly from the truck. What does that mean? That means it could be a few different things. Um, it could be the brake controller in the truck. It could be the plug on the back of the truck. It could be the pigtail on the RV. It could be the wiring back at the electric brakes on the axles or anywhere in between on the RV. So um, this is gonna be kind of a trial and error to see whether or not we can get this fixed. So I think where I'm gonna start is with this guy right here. I think he might be the culprit being here in Michigan we you know we have salt on the roads in the winter time and wiring here in the back of your vehicles can get corroded pretty darn easy so I think we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with him uh, there is two bolts down here on the bottom side uh, to disconnect him from the hitch so I'll go ahead and get him down and we'll see you once I get that off all right, so I got the plug off and it just clips in this bracket that was bolted up here to the hitch. It looks like it's got plenty of electrical grease in the back side there for the connection. And if I can get the inside open here so we can take a look at what the inside of it looks like here. It's a little corroded, but it doesn't really look that bad. Uh, there is some grease down in there. A little bit of dirt and debris, but otherwise it's not that bad. So this is the new plug that I picked up for the truck. Um, apparently this fits multiple vehicles, but make sure that the one you get fits your vehicle if you're gonna swap this plug out. So here, taking a look at the new one, it is a little bit cleaner inside there. It's got grease down inside the, the connector right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this clipped into our bracket and uh, bolt this back up to our hitch and see what we get. All right, so I got this all back together here. Uh, you can see it looks nice and clean inside there as well as on the four pin side nice new connections So we're gonna go ahead and give this a try see what we get. Hey guys I want to give you a quick little update that since changing out this plug uh, We've hauled Salem here all over northern Michigan uh, For about a month and a half haven't had a single uh, trailer disconnect or wiring fault um, and I want to make sure you guys know that if you have a wiring fault, even if your lights are working on your trailer, your electric brakes are not. So um, if you're having this issue, try changing out this plug. It's a quick and simple fix. It's only about $30. It only takes a couple minutes and you'll be a whole lot safer getting that stuff working. So if this helped you out, like the video, comment down below what kind of issues you're having uh, with your trailer uh, when it comes to the wiring and uh, whatnot. And until next time, we don't catch you on the road. We'll see you in the next video.